Hey, what's up guys? So as you saw in the reveal, today I'm gonna be talking about Spear McKay, which seems to be a common occurrence on this channel, but hey, they make really great products. Well, say you're not interested in a full-on suit like the review that I did a few months back. You're more interested in something casual, something more simple. Well, they do not disappoint with their blazer selection. And if you're a fit guy, you might want to check this out. So let's take a closer look at a Spear McKay blazer. Now let's talk about the fit of the jacket. And when I wore this jacket, I'm going to just go out, out on a limb and say, this is the most comfortable off the rack blazer I have ever owned, ever wore in my entire life. It just feels very, very comfortable. A huge part of that comfort is because of what it's made of. 97% cotton, and 3% spandex. Yes, fellas, this jacket stretches. Now, if you watch this channel, you know as a fit guy, I always say you have to wear clothes that have a little bit of stretch to them, you know, clothes that can move with you. And I've never had a jacket that had this much stretch. It just feels very, very comfortable. Now, the material is very, very lightweight. Um, the, on the website, it says it's a three season weather weight. It didn't say which were the seasons, but if I had to guess, I would say definitely summer because there is no lining on the inside of, of the jacket. Uh, I would say spring and probably the fall as well. You'd be a very brave man to wear this type of jacket during the winter time. Well, I guess you could if you layer up right, but I still wouldn't wear this during those January, February months. Size of the jacket, this is a 46, and I based it off of the suit jacket that I got from Spear McKay a few months back. Now, through trial and error, um, based on the two fits that they have on their website, Slim Fit and Contemporary, I'm more on the contemporary side, but like I said, trial and error has taught me that even with their contemporary, it does run a little bit slim. I have returned some things back that I thought were true to size. I bought my exact size, but when they came, they just didn't fit me. So again, trial and error has taught me to go up a size when I'm buying their contemporary fits. So technically, I am a 44 regular, but this is a 46 regular and it fits me well. Now, I'm gonna just stop talking so you guys can get a 360 view of this beautiful jacket. Yeah, I absolutely love this jacket, man. The fit is just great. Um, I don't see or feel anything wrong with this jacket. Let's take a closer look at the details of the jacket. One thing that caught my attention about it is the pick stitch that literally goes all over the jacket. You can see there on the pocket, the chest pocket, it goes all over the lapels and the collar of the jacket. And even when you come down, you see the pick stitch continuing to the bottom of the jacket and even on the patch pockets. So yeah, it has patch pockets. I absolutely love patch pockets. And on the sleeves too, you'll see the pick stitch there. So if you want to show in the sleeves, a really good tailor would have to redo that pick stitch, which I've come to find not every tailor can do that. So just a, a much more wider look at the jacket. There's no canvas on it. It's totally unconstructed. And here is a detail of a jacket that I tend to overlook. The alignment of the lower buttonhole with whatever pockets it has. In this case, it has patch pockets, but if you have a flat pocket, that's something that I'm looking at now. The alignment of that bottom um, buttonhole with whatever pocket that the jacket has. So here you see a better view of the, the patch pockets, which again, I absolutely love. This jacket comes with double vents. Um, I prefer double vents over single vents. If I had to choose between the two, I'll always go double vents over single. I feel like double vents gives the, the jacket a better drape. And taking a closer look on the inside of the jacket, you can see it's, it has a quarter lining and the shoulders are unpadded. So this is a very lightweight jacket to wear in warmer weather. When I took this jacket out of the box and I put it on for the first time, the first thing that came to my mind was, wow, 
this feels like a shirt. Now I'm sure the cotton spandex blend has something to do with that, but the main reason why I was thinking that way and feeling that way is this thing called spallacamicia. Spallacamicia translate in Italian as shirt sleeve. Now spallacamicia is mostly found on Neapolitan cut jackets like this. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. In the past, jacket shoulders, jacket sleeves, I may have looked at it once in a while, but it was not something that I took into consideration when buying a blazer, sport coat, or a suit. Um, and this is this this is a prime example of you know your style journey is always evolving. You never reach a peak where you become a teacher of menswear. You know, I thought I had a fairly good knowledge on men on menswear and suits. But just to be transparent with you guys, I was very ignorant when it comes to shoulder construction on a jacket. And this is a prime example of that. I had never really heard of Spalakamichia up until I got this jacket. But doing more research on it, uh, and I compared this with my other jackets that I have, which are more of a British cut, if you take a closer look at it, the shoulder of the jacket seems to be attached underneath the the, the sleeve of the, 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 the jacket. As opposed to this one, the Spallacamichia, the shoulder of the jacket is, is attached above the sleeve of the jacket. Now, what's the benefit of this? Well, for one, it follows my natural body shape. Um, it doesn't exaggerate what I have, it complements what I have. Especially with the shoulders being unpadded, it just complements my traps and my delt. Another benefit of that is it gives me more range of motion with my arms and of course with the cotton spandex blend, I can really move around. I can cross my arms if I want and I feel very comfortable doing so. So Spallacamichia is pretty much the attachment of the sleeve of the jacket to the shoulder of the jacket. And it's something that you, you find more on shirts and I'm gonna do a side by side right now of this jacket next to a shirt and you will see the attachment of this the, the shoulder to the sleeve being identical. That's why they call it a shirt shoulder, a shirt sleeve. So as I was doing my research on this, I went down a rabbit hole on the different styles of shoulder attachments on jackets. And that's a video that I want to do down the road because I feel like that's important for us as fit men. That's something that we are known for, you know, our traps, our delts. So we got to find the right clothes that complement these parts of our bodies and, you know, not, not have us out here looking crazy. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Hope you got something out of it. Let me know down in the comments if you bought any blazers, sport coats, or suit jackets from, from Spear McKay. What was your experience with that? Also, if you had any jackets that have this, the Spallacamichia construction on it, whether from Spear McKay or from someone else, let me know your experience with that. I love it. I like how it just falls on the natural shape of my slope and shoulder and it just gives me that range of motion. And of course, the cotton and spandex blend can't beat that. Um, this will not be my last jacket from Spare McKay. I, I'm a big fan of this, so I find myself going there all the time. And they have reoccurring sales. I, I got this one on the sale for like a hundred bucks, which is not bad. Um, and I believe as this video is coming out, they also have a sale going on. So definitely check out Spear McKay. So thank you for watching. Leave your comments down below. I will catch you next time. And until then, stay fly, stay fit.